Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office. It is the ninth day of March, 2023, starting off with clouds, cool weather, and of course, we have a change on the way for the day today with rain and wind developing and Sierra snow. It is the Sierra snow that is one of the differences that we are expecting uh, from what we were thinking a couple of days ago when we thought that the snow levels would be above past level throughout much of this event. It does look as though we are instead going to see the snow levels maybe around 5,500 to 6,000 feet throughout much of this event. A little higher sometimes, a little lower sometimes, but that means that we are going to be seeing snow on the passes, and that's going to have an impact on travel through the Sierra right on through the weekend, and they're going to see a lot of heavy, wet snow up on the summit. But the good news here for those of you in the foothills is that once it starts, it is going to be all rain for those of you at and below 4,000 feet. So that'll be some help, but it'll probably also cause its own headaches. I usually start, start with these on a short term, as in what's happening now, what's going to be happening later on today. But I don't want to start with the long term, because we're talking about today being an atmospheric river, but it's not the only one that we have on the way. So let me explain. This is a graphic that I really love. This is off the GFS, and what you're looking at here is what we call precipital water. So this is how much water is in the atmosphere. And in case you're looking at this on a small screen and can't really tell, that's California right there. That's the Aleutians, and Hawaii is down in here. So this is the plume of moisture that's, that's coming our way right now. This is the atmospheric river that we're looking at for uh, today, tonight, and it will provide all that moisture, and extra moisture and perfect what we call orographic, so the flow coming straight into the Sierra provides everything you need to get heavy rain in the foothills and the Sierra. So this is getting into Saturday. We still have some moisture, but the heaviest uh, atmospheric river moisture is now to our south. But this sort of flow that we're looking at right here, and this is Sunday, will keep occasional rain going in the valley and more rain going in the foothills and the lower Sierra. And I just don't think it's going to stop raining all that much as we head through the weekend. Now we're getting into Tuesday. Here comes the next atmospheric river. This is actually Monday night. So this is going to be atmospheric river number two. That will give us a good dose of rain on Monday night and Tuesday. And then comes atmospheric river number three right here. And that's next weekend. And this is a little far out for us to depend on, but you get the idea that this is not the only atmospheric river we're going to be dealing with. And a word of caution here, that the cumulative effect of having three of these in roughly 10 days could have an impact on our area rivers and reservoirs. And I'll talk about some of the area rivers that we're going to be seeing go up here over the course of the next couple of days. But just after this one passes by, it doesn't mean we're done. Because if those next two atmospheric rivers come, we'll continue to see big inflows into our area reservoirs, which means we have a better chance of having more outflows, maybe coming out of Oroville, certainly out of Folsom and Don Pedro. So that, those are the things that we're going to have to keep an eye on as we head toward, uh, well, go through the next 10 days. So let's talk a little bit about the rain that's going to be coming in today. Let me uh, go back to the, the graphics. And I'm going to show you the HRRR model, and we'll show you just how the rain is going to move in during the day today. This is uh, around 1 o'clock this afternoon. As you can see, widespread rain in the valley. And for the afternoon commute, we are going to be seeing heavy rain. That's the afternoon commute around 4 o'clock. Notice the snow level. It's probably around four to 5,000 feet, but certainly we'll have chain controls in the Sierra again tonight. The rain continues throughout the night. I'll go to first thing Friday morning. This is Friday morning. As you can see, widespread rain. The snow level will be a little bit higher Friday morning, probably around 7,000 feet. But as you can see during the day on Friday, this is Friday midday, that snow level comes back down. That color cha changed back to blue. Also notice a very well-defined back edge to this. That's a classic of an atmospheric river. And I showed you that atmospheric river starting to sink to the south. Well, here it goes. So in areas that are north of, let's say, uh, Butte County, we'll be seeing very little rain. Well, we'll see a lot of rain in the, uh, the Santa Cruz Mountains as well as the, the foothills of the Sierra south of Interstate 80. This is getting into Friday afternoon, and this model will stop on early Saturday morning. And as you can see, the valley isn't seeing much rain, but the west slope certainly is. As this comes in, we'll also be looking at some winds that'll be gusty later on today. The winds aren't all that gusty during the afternoon. I'm showing you wind gusts off the HRRR model. This is around 4 o'clock this afternoon. And I'll stop it here at uh, 6 o'clock this evening. 
As I scroll over, you can see winds gusting to 50 knots. That would be in the San Joaquin County area I own. Um, also Sacramento County, Folsom, Roseville, Lincoln. Those are going to be the most favored areas for the strongest winds and the possibility of power outages. And that area of red that I'm showing here, this is around 9 o'clock tonight. Same thing, Sacramento County, San Joaquin County, Amador, Calaveras, El Dorado, Placer Counties, and toward the Marysville area of Highway 65. Those are the most favored areas for the strongest winds and the possibility of having winds that can do damage, bringing down uh, tree limbs and causing power outages. As we go, go through the overnight, those winds will diminish. And this is very early in the morning and the, the trend tomorrow is going to be to have the winds diminish after sunrise. So we may have some issues with power outages during the overnight tonight for those areas that I mentioned. All right, I'm going to skip over to the NAM because this will get us into the weekend. So here's our rain tonight. This will show Friday a little bit differently. This is Friday morning. It shows a lot less rain on Friday than the other model did. But the ore graphic flow on Saturday will keep the, the precip going. It's really tough to pinpoint for you a good time to do things over the weekend when it's not going to be raining or snowing. As you can see, this is Saturday early afternoon. It's snowing in the Sierra. We'll have chain controls. In the valley, the rain will be on again, off again. But for those of you in Grass Valley, Placerville, Camino, uh, Volcano, Pioneer, Angels Camp, Twain Heart, it's just going to keep raining. You know, if it stops, it's not going to be stopping for very long. And then this is getting into Sunday. We have the same thing. More of the soupy flow coming our way. And that's before the next atmospheric river comes our way. So how much rain are we talking about? I'll show you the, the latest from the North American model, and I'll stop it first thing. Well, this is Saturday afternoon. This, uh, this model run is a little bit lower than what we were thinking yesterday. It says 1.37 here in Sacramento. And these areas in this yellow-orange color, that's between an inch and an inch and a half. When you get in these magenta colors, these are over four inches. So that's on the west slope. The good news here for the valley is that I think those rain totals are going to be low enough, if this model is right, for places like Sacramento County to minimize the chance of the, having the streams uh, uh, and creeks flood. So Arcade Creek, for instance, is less likely to flood. However, Deer Creek on the east side of Sacramento County, uh, that's going to go over Scott Road without much of a doubt. And as we go through the rest of the day Saturday, the rain totals don't add up that much more by early, uh, actually by Sunday afternoon. This goes up to two inches, so it doesn't look as though the rain rate is going to be enough to cause big problems on our area streams and creeks. So let's go over to the River Forecast Center because I do want to highlight some of the, uh, the rivers that we are keeping an eye on. And so this is the Cosumnes. Right now it stands at 5.3 feet. This is the latest in. This is this morning's uh, forecast. The good news here is it looks just like last night's forecast, which is really good. We like consistency in these things. Forecast peak at 13.8 feet, and that is on uh, Friday at 9 p.m. So this is the Cosumnes at Michigan Bar. Let's call it Rancho Murrieta. And about 6, 8, 10 hours later, this is the high water that goes through Wilton. So Wilton, on early Saturday morning, this is the water that's going to go through. Now, this is about 3 feet lower than what we saw back in January, but still, this is good enough to put water up high in the levees, maybe even over top some of the levees, and this is good enough to put water on Dillard Road, Twin Cities Road, Bruceville Road, that area, similar to what we saw back in January, but lower. There'll be water to drive through, if you will, if you want to, but I don't think we're going to see enough water down there to swamp cars and that sort of thing. You'll notice that this goes out into Tuesday, and this is the end of the forecast period, but it once again with that next atmospheric river bumps the river back up. So this is one that we'll keep an eye on as we, uh, as we go through the weekend. So that's, uh, that's everything I've got for you this morning. It's going to be a busy weather day. We'll have all sorts of coverage for you on KCRA at 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11, of course. I'll be on Facebook tonight. It'll be a little bit later than usual because we're doing news up until 8, so we may, we may not hop on Facebook until about 8.15 or 8.20, something like that. But later on tonight, I'd love to hear what you guys are seeing in, at your place around 8, 9 o'clock tonight on Facebook if you can because that's when some of the winds are going to be picking up and just give me an idea of what's happening around where you are. And of course, tomorrow morning, I'll have another one of these updates. And if you like these updates, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification anytime I do these, which is just about every morning. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.